and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos, Jr. Thank you very much for the charming introduction from uh, the Vice President and concurrent uh, Department of Education Secretary, uh, VP, Inday Sara, <laughs> VP Inday Sara Duterte, uh, the uh, Public Works and Highways Secretary, Mani Bunuan, and of course, uh, uh, here present also that uh, we are very lucky that uh, you get two for the price of one, dahil nandito rin si Senator Aimee Marcos. <laughs> uh, Davao City Mayor, Baste Duterte. Davao City Vice Mayor, uh, Vice Mayor Kitain. Fellow workers in government, all the distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I uh, warmly welcome everyone as we inaugurate the first segment of the Davao City Coastal Bypass Road. Before anything, let me join with our Vice President uh, to recognize, recognize the Vice President's presence who is here today and who has, had, how has decided to join us to see the fruition of a program, a project that started during her mayoral incumbency. Also, also of extreme importance to the completion of uh, this, uh, this project, uh, we must acknowledge my predecessor, someone who was a central part for, of the instrumental, uh, central part to bringing us here all today, um, the uh, former president, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in 2017, the groundwork for this project began. Despite the challenges brought about by the COVID pandemic, we have witnessed this project slowly progress. Six years now since the project has begun. We now stand in front of the first completed segment, the one that runs from Bago Playa to Times Beach, which is also the longest segment of all. Let us not forget that the work started long before these past six years. It all started with our leader's vision for our people. This project forms part of the Philippine High Standard Highway Network, which was made with the goal in mind to, con to connect all our country's major islands. For this project in particular, the vision was to ease traffic congestion and in turn sustain and even boost the economic growth that Davao City has been enjoying in the past years until today. The objective is also to make the progress more inclusive and uh, more relevant to everyone's daily life through a highly interconnected road network. And while we are only opening the first kilometers of the more than 17 kilometer project, we expect this already to provide some relief to Mindanaoans, especially those who wish access to downtown Davao. This will help in transporting goods in and out of the city, making access to basic necessities easier for communities, for businesses, and for consumers. Aside from transportation, this road project also features walkways, bicycle lanes, linear parks, public spaces that our people need for their comfort, happiness, and well-being. I can imagine already the locals, and especially our tourists, taking a stroll and while looking at the view, feeling the breeze coming in from the coast, and taking with them the energy and peace they need to go about with their daily lives, with memories of Davao City and the Philippines. Add to that, the fact that this will also form as a protection against storm surges, this project of the Department of Public Works and Highways is indeed anchored in well-thought-out master plans. For this, we have to recognize our, our fellow workers in government, especially those in the Department of Public Works and Highways who have toiled diligently, passionately, and passionately, to patiently and passionately to bring this to fruition. Yan po ang ating, eh, yan po ang ating dapat pasalamatan at uh, Hikayatin po na ipagpatuloy ang 
ang kanilang sipag at ang kanilang magandang trabaho. Kaya, kaya, na, kaya na kumpleto na itong uh, unang phase one. Uh, ito naman ay sasabihin na, uh, so, ito naman ay masasabi natin na umpisa pa lang. Kaya yung ating mga kasamahan sa DPWH, sige lang, tuloy-tuloy lang yung ipinakita niyong napakagandang trabaho dito sa dito sa unang bahagi nitong coastal road ay patuloy natin ipakita para mabilis matapos, maganda sa budget at makatulong sa taong bayan. We also have to re recognize and thank JICA or the Japan International Cooperation Agency, all the other development partners as well, for they have shared their expertise with the Philippine government to improve our infrastructure. Everything that we have done so far and everything that we will do from this point onwards will all be instrumental in our collective leap forward and upward. I call on the DPWH and everyone involved in this and all the other infrastructure projects. The work needs to be done. Strive to finish the remaining segments and uh, let us do it within schedule so that our people may reap and truly enjoy the maximum benefits of your hard work. As the national government remains committed to pursuing high impact connectivity projects with you, I hope that you will all bear in mind this one thing. The fruit of your labors are the building blocks of the bright and sustainable society that our children will enjoy. Let us continue working as one towards becoming an interconnected and thus thriving Philippines. Congratulations for all the good work that we have done. I look forward to the good work that we will continue to do. Dagang salamat sa inyong tanan. Maraming pong salamat sa inyong lahat. Magandang tanghali po. Thank you, Mr. President. At this point, may we request the President to kindly grant us a photo opportunity. First, may we call on stage the first set of the DPWH officials. <laughs> 